The people are like a giant and the governments they're like this little man. Why is it that this little small man can control this giant? The more we are, the stronger we become. King Hamad let everyone in exile come back and that was the first time me and my sisters saw Bahrain. My son Mohammed is an American citizen. I was following the news from India. I was worried about my son. <laughs> I was gonna go out, I decided, and protest. I knew that we'd need everyone on the ground. I said to him, my son, this is not your problem. And he said that if everybody leaves, who's going to carry on with this revolution? If the government hadn't killed someone from the very first day, I don't think it would have lasted. <laughs> Enough is enough. We are not scared. No more. My father was like, we're brothers. I'm a human being, you're a human being. You can't shoot me. He gave them his back and stood in front of me and did this. Me and my father, we decided that maybe it was better for her to leave the country. They told me, Miriam, we need someone who can talk to people and tell them what's going on in Bahrain. I've been arrested maybe seven times, I think. Without hope, you're not going to get anywhere. And that's why I can't give up. My son, my inspiration. This revolution, it was the most righteous thing I have ever been through in my life. When you face a government that uses nothing but violence, you know you're not going to win that war. Our morals and justice is what we have over them. We want a happy ending for all those people who are suffering here. And they deserve a happy ending.